We needed some more fuzz in this video. Hey, Res Pally, I'm Allie. And, and I'm Kim. <laughs> so. Thank you for joining me. Today, I'm going to attempt to give Allie a bike fit on her fur ball uh, with two wheels. Where are the bolts on your bike? Did you cover them in fur, too? I just covered all the things that I possibly could. Oh, my God. This is actually great theft <gasps> protection. Right, that's what I thought. I was like, no one ever would want this, so now I don't even have to lock it up. Yeah, I mean, sometimes someone would, like, take your seat post off and steal your seat post or steal parts. Oh. You can't even get to nope. the part where you do that. There's a very in-depth scientific way to, I would actually love to see you wheel this bike into a shop where they do official bike fits with the camera. What, would it get in the way of their lasers? But I think it's fit poorly for me and I actually really want your insights on how to do this without all of the cameras and whatnot. First up, stand over it and show me um, yep. how much space you have, how many fingers not and you fit in between. I am the crotch to bar right now. You are. The comments on this video are gonna be great. <laughs> that right there shows me that this frame is actually a little too big for you. Mm, okay. I mean, you aren't wearing shoes. Wait, hold that. Hey! Did I grow? <laughs> Let's try. Try again. So the frame's a little too big for you. It is a small, I think, I mean. Do they make extra I small? I, well, you covered it in fur. Normally the size is somewhere on the tubing. Oh, but, oops. Uh, <laughs> we can't tell now. Wait, that, that sounds like. What? If it was a 40, probably a 49, yeah. and you might need a 48. Oh, there's another way to make this whole bike lower to the ground, and that would be put smaller wheels on it. But then I would need more revolutions to get as far. Yeah. Right? But you could put the 650s, they're just slightly smaller. Okay. But the thing about that is that then every time you buy tires and tubes, you need that size. What is this right now? These are seven, this is the average, it's like 720 or something. These it's are the, the standard. You can find all the replacement for this very easily, but 650s you might not always be able to get your hands on. <laughs> okay, wait, do I need to stay here? Well, the next thing we're gonna go over, we already know the frame is a little too big, but let's make sure your seat height. So I'm gonna you straddle this back wheel. You can get on my pegs. I'm gonna hold it. My fuzzy pegs. <laughs> They're pretty great. <laughs> and you're gonna go ahead and put your foot Put on this and get your butt on the seat. I'm so, biking indoors. I've got it. So you've got all your weight on the seat right now, right? Mm, yes. Okay. I'm pretty nervous. Are you okay? I'm fine. Okay. This is fine. It's okay. balanced. Are you able to press your heel down? Straighten your knee out and press your heel down. Yeah. Your hip I... is dropping to do that though. Oh. So pedal the other foot down and press your heel down. Yeep. Oh, sorry. Let me hold. I feel like I'm falling that way. Look. Okay. okay. Now I've got it. And oh you... yeah, I got it. Keep pedaling backwards. Let me see. Yeah. So you're a little too high, because your hips are moving. So oh, how often yeah. let's drop the seat a little bit. Give me that trusty tool. tool. This is a gift I got from my friend Kim nonstop. She's uh, got a great biking channel you should check out. I don't know how we're gonna do this. That's the only thing. It's all, there's also glow tape underneath, because I made it. Oh, right. We're not stop. gonna be able to lower the seat. Can we take the fur off yeah, the seat? Let's, let's do a little rip -aid. I'll put it back on. Sorry, Ashton, hopefully this doesn't hurt. This is fine. This is a little gruesome, actually. We need I'm to sorry to all the fur it. bikes watching this gross thing happening. We got all the tape off, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Took a little while. I'm going to go ahead and lower this about one notch, like one centimeter. Not a whole lot. There's like little markings on the back. It's going to feel different to you. Okay. So I want you to hop on and try this out now. Put the booty on the bike. You got me? Yeah, I got you. Dad teaching you how to ride. Uh, you can just different. call me daddy for the rest of the video. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. All right, so I'm watching you. Hold on, I'm watching you pedal now. Keep going. See, these How does it feel to you? How does it feel? Uh, it feels good. Your hips are moving a little bit less. Yeah. So if you stop and you press one yeah. leg straight down, yeah, and you press your heel to the ground, you're still a little high, I think. I okay, yeah. Sure hop off. Okay. Wow, you've been riding pretty high. Uh, actually, I took it to a bike place and they made it higher for some reason. Well, I was like, they must know. Uh, but there was no reason for them to even touch the seat because they were in my wheels. Rude, so. doesn't know it all. Yeah, Did they know. even see you on it after they raised it? No, actually, I had, like, they didn't see me ride it. I, like, walked it in and then it was just higher. And I was like, okay. I, I wonder if they raise it for themselves to test it out, maybe, uh, to test the wheels. Thing? And they probably figured you knew where your seat height was. I do not. I mean, I know now. <laughs> so let's try again. Yeah, this does feel better. I didn't realize that I was like rocking back and forth. Yeah, your hips pedal. were rocking back and forth. And now your leg is only fully straight when you try to press your heel down, correct? Yeah. Go down, just pedal normal again. Pedal. Well, actually, this is another thing I need to learn from you. Where do I place my foot on the pedal when I'm pedaling? Right where you have it. So like mid yeah. foot. And now stop with one leg down, camera side, press all the way down. Yes. 
Now we're there. Awesome. Man, I dropped it a lot. Yeah, it's been years. And now let me straighten out the nose. When did you prank me with this bike? Go watch that video. It's been a really long time. I've had this bike forever. And I've been riding very poorly. Think how not late I could have been. There's so many things. Like, and we can tilt this down a little bit. Do you like the way it feels on your crotch when you're riding? I have no idea. I didn't even know that there are possibilities of crotch changing. Do you feel like, I, I would have to see you ride again, but do you feel like when you're riding that you kind of do this because there's too much pressure here? Or like, do you find yourself wanting to sit up a lot? I do. You sit up all the time, but that's because yeah. you're <laughs> using your Snapchatting phone. Snapchatting while biking. I actively try and straighten my back almost to like feel like a deadlift, but if I, that's because I assume that's how you should ride, but I don't really know. Your core should be engaged, your back should be curved. Huh. But that's a no more arrow position. And when you're commuting, you're not caring about that. I don't think it's going to damage you in any way to be more upright when you ride. It's okay. just that if you want to be faster, the more talked you are, the faster you are. Got it. Arrow position, being right. aer aerodynamic. Yeah, nice and aerodynamic. Aer <laughs> <laughs> but that should help you out a lot. Okay. Your leg should never, your knee shouldn't be able to lock out. Like you shouldn't be able to completely lock your knee unless you're at the bottom of the pedal stroke with your heel pressed all the way down. Okay. Otherwise. Most people who are new to cycling wear, ride with their seat way too low, so it's usually the other problem, the okay. other side of the problem. Noted for everyone else, but I guess I'm an extra weirdo. Like another thing people should know is that if you're riding and your butt's on the seat, you shouldn't be able to put your feet on the ground. Yeah, I learned that from you a while yeah. ago and I was like, oh, that's so much harder. But when you're going long distances, your quads don't fatigue as much as quickly as if you were riding super low. If you feel like you're riding a bike and all you're thinking about is how badly it burns right here and the front of your quads right above your knee, then your seat probably is too low. It could be a factor. This should help with your hips if you were saying your hips were hurting. Yeah, I was having trouble with my hip flexors. That's why I asked yeah. the expert. This should help with that. Okay. And then cool. um, it's a little hard to test out the rest of it, but I think, let me see you on it one more time. Why, what else would you Because I want to be able to get a side view, but I can't do that without holding you. So oh, hop right. on again. I do have uh, rollers. I'm looking in the mirror though. Oh yeah, <laughs> rollers. Okay, so hop off. Yeah. All this hopping um, seems dangerous. This looks like a very comfortable setup for you. Like it's a short reach, right? Like when you're on the seat, you don't feel like you're leaning really far forward. No, it's good. Can you hop on one more time? Yeah, I would maybe push your seat back just a little bit. Yeah, you look a little jammed up in this front part because your knee is so far above oh, your yeah. toe. Okay. You know? So I would move the seat back a little, which is going to take some more tape removal. But for the most part, I think just that seat height. Okay. Seat height is so important. It's like 90% of your fit. So if you get the right seat height, I mean, I don't want to say it's 90%. There's a lot of things that go into bike fit, like how far you're reaching, how high these handlebars are, how the tilt of your seat, and maybe even if you were riding clipped in, your cleat position. So there's so much to it. Like I said, this is like the most primitive, like caveman version. <laughs> but I've clearly been riding. This is a primitive wrong. caveman bike. So <laughs> if you want to see me get like a, a official bike fitting, let me know in the comments. I would love to see you do that with this bike. <laughs> You're gonna make people so mad. Well, here's my question: How how tilted do you ride? What do you like? This is average. This is like neutral. Yeah. I like to tilt slightly down. Because I do ride very arid, I mean, I ride yeah. for racing, so I'm always like this, and I don't want the front of that seat trying to jam up inside me. Got it. <laughs> so you don't? I point it down a little bit, and people comment about my, on my Instagram, they'll be like, oh, but that seat tilt though, and it's like, always guys. And I'm like, bro, you are not, it's not your vagina. Step up. Though. This should help, the seat height should help a lot. Awesome. And go take this to like an official bike fitter, I can't wait to see their face. Is it any different? If I ride fixy versus free, fixed gear will make you stronger. Okay, but like so. the way I ride or the way I fit it should be the same. Yeah, your fit would be the same. If you ride fixed, your legs are gonna get a lot stronger. Also, her cat is here. My cat, my baby. We needed some more fuzz in this video. Was Did it you fuzzy? just fart? No. It Smell was, this cat. Oh, Did he? Yeah. Oh, bro. <laughs> Fart it. Melon. Get out of here. That was gnarly. Come on. Thanks, Thanks for cat sitting. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>